The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're going over our Ableton ABCs, where we take a closer look at each audio effect that comes with Ableton individually. And since we're starting with A, I want to begin with the one audio effect that I think is the most important out of all the audio effects and so important that it even has its own keyboard shortcut and I'm talking about the audio effect rack. Now the audio effect rack is so mighty but on its own does absolutely nothing but it does everything in conjunction with other audio effects. This first button turns off your eight macro controls, which are blank knobs that you can pick out of any knob in any plugin to create a shortcut to. The second button down toggles the view of our chains area, and we're gonna get to this later. And the third button shows where the audio effects actually go. So this audio effect rack is a tool to hold multiple audio effects and very conveniently consolidate them down into just a little sliver of a plugin if you want, or you can expand it and go all in and get full control. Let's start by dragging some plugins into this audio effect rack. I think I wanna add a little amp to this guitar since this is not a real guitar. This is just a guitar open that comes stock with Ableton. I'm also gonna hit dual on this because here inside of the instrument, I use some pan randomization to have some left right variation on every guitar hit. And by default, your guitar amp is in mono. But back to the audio effect racks. Let's say you liked this guitar amp, but you also liked the clean one and you weren't sure which one you wanted to use. Well, with audio effect racks, you can easily use them both. So let's switch this new one that we just dragged into clean. And this, like I said, is your chains area. And we've just created two parallel chains, which means we have two amps affecting this guitar signal at the same time. And the clean one and the blues one. Are your vocals sounding a little weak sauce? Does your plug-in chain lack organic spice and quality? Introducing Waves Vocal Sauce, the ultimate preset for Waves plugins that'll get your vocals so saucy you may never use another plug-in chain again. Waves Vocal Sauce is available now only at wholeloops.com. Now this sounds a lot better, but it doesn't sound too much like the original anymore. What if you want to get a little bit of that original back in? Well, since there's not one overall dry wet knob for both of these, we can create one. And this is where audio effect racks become really tight. So now we can create chain, and this pulls up this view where we can assign how far we want the knob to turn. Zero is where all these knobs are at right now and we could drag these blue things out all the way to 127, which would be the equivalent of having the knobs all the way up. The next thing I wanna do is create a dry chain. So if I just right click here and say create chain, this one was clean and this one was blues. And let's drag dry signal and just do a little fade over here so that when the knob is all the way to the right, you're getting the dark blue, which is your wet signal. And then for this one, we're gonna grab the top bar go all the way to the left and go all the way to the left. And this is how we create our master wet dry knob. You just create hit map. You click in this green area up here where the ruler is and hit map. And now we have got smooth control, dry and wet. I did mine backwards. If you want to do yours the other way around, you could just simply grab this thing again, go back like this and just send it the other way, just like these, and then do the opposite here on the top. Wet signal, dry signal. Right click and rename, or you could just click on it once and use the keyboard shortcut Command R, and you've just created yourself a 
wet dry knob between two different chains and a dry signal. Or if we wanted to do an overall treble boost for both of our amps, we could take both of these and assign these to macro two, treble on here, treble on here. Let's try doing some more fun stuff with this audio effect rack. So I might grab an echo and drop it in here. And the default setting on the echo is not 100%. So you just gotta drag it. We could try some dotted eighth note ping pongs and see what we get. And now I'm not really a huge fan of wet dry knobs. So even if the plugins have one, I prefer to just leave it at 100% and set it up in an audio effect rack and just control the volume of everything with the volume on the channel. And as so long as you're organized and label everything, you won't have a hard time mixing with the channels here inside your audio effect rack. You can even be organized with your colors, make your dry one a different color so you know not to put plugins on there. And these chains are duplicatable. So if I wanted to create a long delay to complement this really short delay, I could just hit duplicate. Maybe I'll set up a half note delay. And if you think looking at all this is a bit much while you're trying to be creative, just close up this plugin and just look at it more like this. I find this to be a lot more inspiring. That way you're not thinking so much about what's going on in your plugins and just worry more about the volume and the balance of them while you're mixing. So this we can rename and just like any clip, any channel inside the mixer or the effect rack, these can be colored too. And that's exactly how I set up my master chain down here the Ableton Master Sauce, available at wholeloops.com. Hey. The next thing that I find really handy inside of audio effect racks is the ability to take things that aren't so wide and make them even wider by grabbing your effects and panning certain effects to one side or the other. Back into our plugins. And we just created a bunch more width by sending our guitar amps to one ear or the other, but keeping our dry signal in the center. And this is an amazing mixing technique to also make a guitar sound doubled. Take another echo channel call this one slap and just grab this and go all the way to maybe like a 30 second note dotted. And let's map this to a new one. And creating your own plugins is as easy as this using audio effect racks, which is why I made this the very first tutorial in my ABCs of Ableton series. This is really the most powerful audio effect of them all. Audio effect racks alone is a reason to get Ableton just because the ability to be so creative with your signal routing and sending one type of process to one ear, sending another type of process at a lower volume, all within one channel can be consolidated, saved down with this little button right here. Boom. You just got yourself your own little preset that you could recall and drop on any channel. So if I want to drop Reed's guitar sauce, pull the treble back. That's without it. Well, there you have it, my Ableton ABC's Guide to the Audio Effect Rack. 
I hope you found all the tips and tricks in this tutorial useful, and if you want to see the rest of the Ableton ABC series in alphabetical order, you can check out the description of any one of these videos to see the rest of the episodes. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time with another tutorial. Peace out.